I'm Stuart Hammeroff. I'm an anesthesiologist and professor at the University of Arizona. I study consciousness. I'm very interested in how the brain produces consciousness and the possibility of downloading or preserving consciousness in an alternative medium, possibly what people call immortality. This seems uh, far-fetched at this point, but I think as we understand consciousness, it may become uh, real and scientific. These approaches will be discussed at a very exciting conference in New York City, GF 2045, Global Futures 2045, June 15th, 16th in New York City. And I encourage you to participate and attend. It should be a lot of fun and very exciting. I think it's essential to study the brain. The answer is not entirely microtubules. We have to know how the brain is organized and the anatomy and the physiology of the brain. But I think it would be a mistake to uh, focus exclusively on neurons is the most basic fundamental level. We have to go deeper inside neurons. Uploading uh, into an alternative medium of your mind, of your consciousness, into some other medium is possible, A, if we know what that what consciousness is, what that process is, and, and B, we have a, an appropriate medium. So if it's quantum computations in microtubules, then it could be transferred into a medium of microtubules or some other entity, like fullerenes, which could do the same sort of thing as long as we have this basic process. We define consciousness as occurring when E equals H over T. When this type of self-collapse of the quantum wave function happens. And if that happens in any type of medium, you should have consciousness. Now, it, it could happen in a medium that has no information, that has no cognition. For example, uh, a neutron star has huge superpositions, but there's no information. So that would be highly intense experience, but with no orchestration with no information entailed. So what we want is conscious experience with information and cognition. And I think that is possible uh, if we can understand what consciousness is. And if it is indeed uh, this quantum computation of microtubules, then the next step of being able to transfer would be relatively straightforward. I think it's a worthy goal to be able to have consciousness in an alternative medium. Uh, we don't know what's going to happen on Earth. Uh, it may be destroyed, or there may be some disease that, that destroys everybody. And the only preservation we might have would be consciousness in an alternative medium, uh, where that could be in, a, in another, another world or, or somewhere. Uh, consciousness is the essential feature. It's more, it's, it's more important than life itself. And consciousness in an alternative medium would be more valuable than life without consciousness. So I think it's a, a very worthy goal. On the same uh, hand, we have to be uh, careful because uh, it's politics and, and greed. Uh, who would select who gets to be stay conscious and who doesn't? Uh, so there's a lot of uh, potential risk involved. But I think we have to attempt it because it may be our only salvation at some point. Once the plausibility of immortality or uploading or downloading your consciousness into an alternative medium is demonstrated, once we know that it can occur, then everybody will want to be part of it. Everybody will want to, probably everybody, or most people, will want to preserve their consciousness uh, indefinitely or in an alternative medium when their body's about to die. Uh, plus, we have the possibility that we will poison the Earth and life on Earth will be uninhabitable, or uh, uh, the Earth will be uninhabitable, and consciousness in an alternative medium might be the only uh, persistent uh, form of consciousness. And, Consciousness without life in an alternative medium would be uh, preferable to conscious to life without consciousness. So that'd be like essentially brain death. So uh, once it can be demonstrated, and that in turn depends on understanding what consciousness actually actually is, then I think uh, industry, government, the masses will all want to be involved, and then we'll have to deal with allocation of resources, and hopefully everybody could get in. So immortality and, and uploading your consciousness into an alternative medium are, are long-term, very worthy goals. But pursuing those goals in terms of understanding how the brain produces consciousness, normal in the brain consciousness, will help in a lot of uh, disorders, mental disorders, neurological disorders, uh, uh, depression, schizophrenia, Alzheimer's disease, a disease of microtubules, brain injury, uh, nerve re repair generation. Various mental and psychiatric disorders would be more understandable and better treated if we understand what normal consciousness is, because mental disorders are all disorders of consciousness, and uh, it's it's much easier to treat them if we know what we're dealing with, what the actual fundamental level of consciousness and where it's really derived from. Well, if we can show a what consciousness is and b that it is possible to exist outside of the body and that afterlife is possible, 
I suspect that initially there would be resistance from organized religion, but eventually they would realize that they're allies with the scientists, and there might be some unification, and uh, rather than a turf war, maybe cooperation, and, uh, and maybe help in, in some of the ethical uh, uh, issues of, of how to manage this type of thing.